Hi, my name is Larian. Uh, I'm a PhD student in higher education. So first of all, I'd like to thank you for the opportunity to speak to you today on why flexibility in education is important. So I view flexibility as the ability to have a choice on how to customize my learning. Flexible learning, in my view, should encompass constant access as well as diverse learning resources. So I believe flexibility is very crucial for students. Being a student will always have its challenges, even those that do not relate to academic matters, such as trying to make ends meet financially. As a PhD student, I value flexibility a lot. Being an adult learner with responsibilities requires flexibility as life does not stop while studying. In this regard, my PhD experience has been very flexible. But would I relate this to me doing a research degree? My supervisors? Have I made it flexible myself? Or is it maybe a combination of all? So what do I mean by this? I do acknowledge research degrees, or at least the one that I'm doing, are structured differently to other degrees, um, in particular, most undergraduate degrees. Therefore, it may be somewhat easier to provide flexibility or be flexible. There's no coursework. Um, therefore, I have no real obligation to have a physical on-campus presence. However, for other um, students doing research degrees, this can be dependent on the type of research that is being conducted. So some do require labs and some other physical resources um, that are physically on campus to conduct their research. So my supervisors also play a pivotal role in the flexibility experience. My supervisors are proponents of the utilization of digital technologies in higher education. So we haven't always had the need to meet face to face uh, as we take advantage of the multiple collaboration tools at our disposal for communication. So this does enable me to somewhat be flexible as well. Also, the way I've structured my research process is another important factor. In as much as the environment and the support is there to be flexible, was I willing to be flexible in my learning? And the answer here is yes. So as I said before, uh, to me, flexibility is the ability to learn how I choose to, in that I'm given options and I choose that one fits me, and I choose the one that best fits me in a very pragmatic way. For example, I wake up and decide I can do my research from home, from the office space provided to me, from the library, or I could simply pack my bag and go to another city for a weekend to change my environment, uh, maybe go to a more relaxed environment. So with this flexibility of choice, it gives me options to structure my life better. So I'm able, for example, to gain experiences through jobs uh, in areas that would aid my professional development, such as tutoring and research assistantship, because I'm able to easily structure um, my hours of the week. From my previous studies, I sometimes wonder though of the opportunities I could have encountered if I had this kind of flexibility. If I had the option to maybe watch lecture recordings rather than attend classes all the time, could I have had more time to find a part-time job that would have aided my employment prospects upon graduation? Possibly. Or um, found a job that would have made me more competent in my craft um, through a hands-on experience while I was studying. But these are some of the things that I would never really know. So now I do acknowledge there has been a shift in becoming more flexible. However, um, the fact that we're here today still asking the questions is an indicator that there's still more to do or more we can uh, do to improve uh, the flexibility that we offer in or that is offered in higher education. To summarize, in as much as not every aspect of learning can be flexible, I believe more can be done to be flexible or to be more flexible. With the right support, I believe students at all levels can be provided with more flexible learning by providing them more options that enable increased access and provide students the ability to customize le their learning to their convenience. Perhaps we could have a hybrid model that encompasses multiple forms of learning. We could relax physical attendance requirements, or we could do both possibly. So as solutions are still sought after, and also acknowledging that there probably isn't a one size fits all solution, I would like to suggest a more prevalent student voice in how to be more flexible. So we do need to hear more and more um, from how students would like to learn because students are the people learning here. And since that's the case, their voice should be the loudest in these decisions. We'd also like to suggest less resistance to change from some educators. Um, so the COVID-19 pandemic has shown us to some extent that where there's a will, there's a way when it comes to transitioning into more flexible modes 
of learning. So I'd like to thank you again for the opportunity to speak to you today and wish you all a great day. Thank you.